I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would ever celebrate hearing you have some form of cancer. But it was like night and day the way they described to me the one versus the other. We went to the Cincinnati um, football game up at Notre Dame. My dad loves Notre Dame football. And he, like, that's his element. And he just like wasn't himself. Like he got through the weekend and he was engaged and everything. But like as his daughter, I definitely was aware like something wasn't fully like really? himself. Yes. And um, but nothing like alarming. And then his he started turning yellow. That was really the first sign that something wasn't right. And then uh, the situation was my urine and stools were different colors than what they should be. And then itching. Oh my God. I never itched like this in my life to the point my wife would say to me, do you know you're bleeding tonight from scratching so much? So when he came to you initially, explain what his symptoms were. Uh, he was fatigued, he was uh, having some pain, and he was, um, had a lot of itching from, uh, his bilirubin was quite high, he was jaundiced. And bilirubin high means what? So bilirubin is the breakdown product of blood. It is um, broken down in your liver and excreted in your bile duct into your um, stool. And it's actually the um, material that makes stool dark brown, otherwise it's lighter. But if it goes too high, it also gets into your skin. It gets into your eyes, so your eyes turn yellow and his skin turned yellow. So he was jaundiced. Like that meant what for him? It means that there was something wrong with his liver. Or in this case, there was something wrong with his bile duct that was blocking the, the bile from leaving the liver to go into his uh, intestines. And the diagnosis was that I had bile duct blockage. But first they said bile duct cancer. And I was actually scheduled for surgery on a Tuesday and bile duct cancer surgery is very serious. That essentially means what? Well, you know, it means essentially uh, they might have taken out some of your liver and a whole bit. I mean, the, the, the prognosis was very scary. Thoughts go through your mind, and thinking about your family, thinking about not basketball, thinking about living. There was a lot of fear at that point. Um, just fear, like, if he could even get through the surgery. I'm really lucky my husband's a surgeon, so he was able to, like, kind of process some of the medical stuff that was pretty overwhelming to all of us. To be honest with you, I think my mom and dad, like they completely shut down. Like they were just like, they just wanted someone to make the decision. My sister and I kind of felt like the burden of making the right decision. I mean, did you think he was going to die? I think it was, an, it was um, a possibility. I think the surgery was going to be incredibly complex. And at 82 years old, um, it made it even more elevated. Um, and just like the quality of life on the other side. I kind of oftentimes think about like when my dad does so much work with pediatric cancer, like I, I literally don't know how families go through that stuff with their kids. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just your mind just shuts down like on how that's gonna play out. Cause you just, you know, you see someone who's scared, you're scared. Um, you know that there's options, but you don't know what the right option is. And we were hoping and praying that we made the right decision. Thankfully, in our scenario, it ended up we did not have to ultimately make that decision. And when they found out uh, it was lymphoma, correct me if I'm wrong, this was like a day before it, yes. surgery yeah. well, was supposed to happen. Well, they were putting happen. a rush on everything uh, because the seriousness of thinking it was bile duct, they said, we need to do surgery right away, like next week. And so everything was in motion to do that, to get it out as quickly as we could. Then after the tumor board met and they looked at additional scans, they felt like it wasn't a tumor on the inside of the bile duct or the straw. It was inflammation coming from the outside that was like making the straw flat. And that would indicate lymphoma and that was a far better scenario. Wait, and was it merely luck that you guys found I, that out I the, guess right it before was, surgery? You know, luck or whatever you want to call it, God watching over us that, um, that yeah, we that were lucky that that happened, yeah. I never thought I would cry in jubilation when the phone rang about 5.30 on Friday 
And Dr. Chair said, Santa Claus has come early. He said, you know, <laughs> mild duck kids, it's lymphoma, very curable, very curable. And uh, my wife and I, my daughters, we're not celebrated. I never, <clears throat> I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would ever celebrate hearing you have some form of cancer. But it was like night and day the way they described to me the one versus the other. We went to this Italian restaurant here that my dad loves, and I mean, it's just life is perspective. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, you'd never think you'd celebrate a lymphoma diagnosis, but we did. And, and it, because lymphoma was far more treatable, no surgery, the formula for the chemo was pretty like standard. It wasn't where the bile duct situation, there were many different scenarios or ways to approach the problem. And all he wanted to do was start immediately. He wanted to get on the road to recovery as soon as possible. And he also, in all honesty, wanted to know how it was going to affect his basketball game calling schedule. Really? Oh yes, he, he was like, all right, let's figure out how we could work this so that I could still do the thing he loves to do. What was your reaction when you got that news? We were celebrating and you know, crying at the same time. You know, you're thinking like, this is it. He's probably, maybe only has a couple of months to live. Two, this is great. Where are we going next year on vacation?